Here's an interesting problem that I want to discuss with you. Let me go ahead and share the screen. Uh, there's a nice drawing that comes with this problem. So you wish to calculate the height of a building using a digital angle finder and your knowledge of the trigonometry. Uh, so you walk from the building, you walk some distance in a perfectly straight and flat road, uh, and you measure the angle between the top of the building and the surface of the street where you are standing some distance. We don't know how far, we just, so we can call it X. And uh, you measure that angle to be 40 degrees. After that, you keep walking in the same direction away from the building for another 500 feet. And then you measure the angle again between the surface of the street and top of the building and uh, the angle is now 22 degrees. And your job is to find the height of the building. So let me go ahead and stop share. I need to get my iPad involved. Okay, so here's what we had. Here's the building, you know. So this is the height of the building that we are trying to find. So you've walked from the building some distance from here to here. Uh, we don't know how far. So this is X. Uh, you measure the angle and it, it was 40 degrees. And then you keep walking for 500 feet. And now this angle, you measure it again, and this time it is 22 degrees. And having this information, we need to find out the height of the building. All right, so two things I can uh, from this picture, I can claim. I can claim, first of all, that tangent of tangent of 22 degrees using the uh, larger triangle, this triangle right here. And I can claim that the tangent of 22 degrees equals side opposite over adjacent, in this case, x plus 500. I can also, so let me say that this was my equation one. And for the equation two, I can claim that tangent of 40 degrees equals side opposite over adjacent using this triangle. So here's what I can do. I can, from equation two, from here, I can solve for x and substitute it into equation one. Let's go ahead and do that. From equation two, uh, that we knew tangent of 40 degrees equals height over x, solving for x gives me x equals h over tangent of 40 degrees, tangent of for the degrees. Okay, and now uh, in equation one, I had tangent of tangent of 22 equals h over x plus 500. So now I'm going to instead of this x right here, uh, I'm going to erase this and substitute this one, which is h over tangent of 40 degrees. All right, uh, now I'm gonna try to solve for H. So it's easiest for me to go ahead and cross multiply. 
So on the left hand side, I have tangent of 22 over one. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cross multiply. Let's go to the next page. Then I'm gonna get tangent of 22 degrees times H over tangent of 40 degrees plus 500. Uh, and that equals just H. Well, tangent of 22 degrees just is just a number. So I'm gonna go ahead and distribute that. I'm gonna get, uh, if I distribute this, I get uh, tangent of 22 degrees over tangent of 40 degrees times H uh, plus uh, 500 times, or let me just read, write the tangent of 22 degrees times 500, that equals H. And so I distribute at the tangent of 22 degrees. So now I'm gonna go ahead and subtract this from both sides. So I will get um, the product of tangent of 22 degrees times 500 equal H minus uh, tangent of 22 over tan of 40 times H. And notice that here I can factor out an H. So let me go ahead and go to the next page. On the left-hand side, I get uh, tan of 22 times 500 equals factor of the H is, I get one minus tan of 22 degrees over tan of 40 degrees, which is a number on my calculator. So now uh, I can claim that H equal uh, tan of 22 degrees times 500 or 500 tan of 22, same thing, divided by one minus tan of 22 over tan of 40 degrees. And that should give me, let's see. Oh, okay, so here's my calculator. So first of all, the one, I'm gonna do the denominator first because I have a basic calculator in my hand. One minus, um, parenthesis uh, tan of 22 over tan of uh, 40. Uh, I get 0.5 something something and then the numerator is the product of uh, tan of 22 times 500 divided by second answer. And I get uh, three, eight, nine. And since it's, you know, the, our unit was in feet, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna round it to two decimals. So 389.61 feet is the height of the building. Okay, thanks.